Hey there, fans. Uh, knife fans and knife crazy people everywhere. I got another uh, review that I want to do. I, uh, I've done a review on the brand Tucson. It was their Tonto. This one's a different model. And the Tonto was the only one I've had so far, so I got these in the mail. I didn't mean to buy two of them. I got two of them. Uh, and I noticed that I ordered two of them as soon as my payment processed through. And it was like $98. And I'm going, excuse me. And then I looked back and there was two. Somehow I had one in the cart, went back, was doing some checking around, and then decided, now nah, I'm just going to go ahead and buy that one. And I clicked on the one that I had on the page. And apparently it took both of them. So I got two. Okay, so here's how they come. It's a, just a regular, I mean, they're really cheap boxes. Nothing fancy about them, but that's okay. That's okay. So here's how they come, because I haven't even taken this one out of the box, okay? Um, before. There it is, in all its glory. And I guess they just, like a sack of bread, you know, just do a little knot at the top. I'm not going to take this one out because it is just slathered with oil, okay? And maybe near the end of my video, I'll cut it open and show you how greased up it is and kind of how it works right out of the box. Uh, but let's just actually review the knife that I have taken out of the box. And uh, I've gone over this. Um, like my Tonto one, I got this out. I wiped it down because it was all greased up. And I flipped it and uh, a couple of times. And it seemed like it was flipping okay and everything. But when I was bringing it back down, it, it just it seemed a little gritty. Uh, and it, like it was just had a little bit of contact. I mean, that metallic kind of gritty feel that you get sometimes. Sometimes, like you shouldn't get, but, and I thought, eh, that's not really that bad. And then I got, nah, hell, I'm going to take it apart. So I took it apart, which is not that tough because you can just take a screwdriver, right, right to there and see these, these are just like a partial and just make sure your tip is thin enough. You can, I've got a magnetic tip here. I can tell this is. Yeah, that's not titanium either. That's steel, the pocket clip. Even though it looks kind of milled, it does look milled. Um, it's not tie. And of course, there are no backspacer. These standoffs are stainless. Hardware stainless. Titanium on the handle. Um, D2 blade. Um... It's, it's a nice, uh, you know, blade grind uh, style for some, you know, power here at the tip, you know, because you got still some meat on it. It's 3.5 millimeter thick stock. A lot of stock is usually, you know, I've been getting the knives from China that have been like four millimeter. This is three and a half. It's a little thinner, but you know, it's pretty appropriate for this knife. I don't find that to be skimpy at all. Okay, I like the type of grind because it can be used for normal slicing, prep, that kind of stuff, it, and also to pierce. So it's, it's good all the way around. It's got another grind to a false edge up here. Okay, um, I was going to uh, tell you about, I took this knife apart, okay? So I took... And, and let me show you on my iPad here, because I'm going to show you an exploded view of this knife, okay? And I like it when they give you this online. And when I took it apart, it was as this is, okay? So here's the deal. If you look at the this here, of course, you got the bearing, right? And then on the side, you got that other side of the captured of the caged bearing uh, and that little indent 
where the where the bearings make contact. Okay, so I popped that out, and now I'm tap tap make it smaller, make it bigger. Okay, I popped that out from behind, which you can kind of catch the edge of it coming back through. Okay, I popped that out, and underneath it was some kind of brown stuff there. And well, of course it's not rust because titanium there. Of course this is steel. But in any case, I wiped that out and I wiped the whole thing on both sides, okay? So that side, that side, popped those out, wiped them, took the bearings out of the indent in the blade, wiped those down, wiped the areas inside the, the blade pocket down, everything. Cleaned it all up, put it back together, and then um, tightened down the pivot, but then I backed the pivot off. Uh, I tightened the pivot down, but then I backed it off just about a quarter turn. I mean, I want it, I want it to have good action, but I don't want blade play here, okay? And there is no blade play here, okay? So you want it tight enough, I do at least, I mean, I don't, however you do. I want it tight enough to where I don't have any blade play, but I don't want to over tighten it to where I interfere with the smoothness of the bearings deploying the blade. And this, you know, I took it apart and it is a lot smoother. It's, it's too bad that I've got to take it apart to clean it up, but it takes five minutes. Okay. So you can take it apart real easy. It's not like there's proprietary pivots or anything like that where you need a special tool or anything. Take it apart. What's interesting is if you look at these standoffs here, you got one that goes through where the pocket clip is, okay? And so we're looking at a right hand tip up carry. There is no option to put the clip anywhere else, okay? What you have here is a tube on this side that goes through the standoff and this screw goes through the clip into that inner into the inside of this tube that's threaded and screws in same with here you got a the tube that goes through the standoff and the screw comes in from this side on the inside of that tube okay and then this of course screws into this which is you know you can see that on this exploded view here of the pivot screw and that's the tube and there's the screw that comes on the other side to that. Okay, I just flip page. But in any case, and see, you can see here that you have the tube right here that goes through that standoff, okay? And then the screw is these little screws, and they screw into that tube after that tube goes through this standoff. So you can kind of see how it's constructed. I like that. I think it's good to have that. Uh, these are just some pictures of the knife. I like the design of the knife. I, that's why I ordered it. And I paid 49 bucks for it. Um, and I got two of them, so it was 98 bucks. And they were delivered, and they got here pretty quick. This seller here that I bought mine from, I just thought I'd, you know, because a lot of people ask, like, where'd you get it from, blah, blah, blah. So if you go on, really, thanks. Uh, if you go on and you can see um, that there's reviews on this one, and they're all five-star reviews, so, okay. So you can see where you get it from um, on DHgate. Just type in Tucson, T-W-O-S-U-N, all one word, knife or knives. And it'll bring up the sellers that are selling them. This guy, geez, trying to see the seller's name on here. Maybe it's on the next page. In any case, welcome to our shop. There you go. Uh, 200 millimeter overall length. It's the TS21. Any case, let's get off of the page and let's get back to the knife. I think it's a three and a half inch blade. It's millimeters they give you. So yeah, three and a half. Okay. Overall length, right at eight inches. Okay. Width, 
is right about a half inch in width. So that's pretty good. See that? There's a half inch. So it's a good carry knife. You know what? It's it's slender. It's not real huge and fat. Let me see this dog is just sitting over here. This Enlon. So you can kind of see the Enlon EL01 is a little bit Enlon, whatever you want to call it, is a bigger knife. You know? Handle wise. And this is kind of, you know, you look at the inland and it's kind of your standard type knife. Okay. It's a nice little knife too. This, I was going to, I was going to bring to your attention that there is a guy on eBay and he's selling the, this brand of knife, Tucson. Okay. And he's got a lot of their different models. And he's putting them on auction. He's starting them at a dollar. And they go for five or seven days. And then, you know, whoever's the high bidder wins. And I'm telling you, um, and, and if you're watching this six months later or a year later, it's probably not going to be the case. But just go into eBay and type in Tucson, all one word, knife. Go down there and then look at the knives that are there. And you'll see there's a guy with a background that looks like this amazingly I mean who who gets this gross color other than me that guy in any case I can't remember his seller name but you'll see him for auction on auction and uh you know I've seen I mean I haven't really followed every single one but I bought three of them from that guy okay and he ships them fairly fast it may be three or four days you don't even see any action on it and then all of a sudden there will be a tracking number and i think it's hong kong uh postage you know but uh mine's already in la so it's coming soon uh the first one i bought from and then i bought two others and it's like one of them was 25 bucks and one of them was 31 bucks it's crazy you know if you can i even saw one go for like 12 or 14 dollars so i mean it's like if you can grab one of these and you know you've got a bit against other people but you might be able to because his auctions end at about like midnight or one because he's on china time right and so they end at an odd time where a lot of people may not be awake or up or following it so just a heads up if you want one of these because i'll tell you what and let's take a look at the lock up on here it's pretty good. It's about 25-30% maybe. It's got, and you know what's nice? Um, be what it may, and these knives are not, you know, you're super high-end, super whatever. But I mean, look at that. You got the insert in there, and of course you saw it on the exploded view. So you got a hardened steel interface with the blade, okay? You got the detent ball. You got the over-travel stop okay on it so all one piece type thing it's great you got a great lanyard hole you got open standoffs easy to do i there's nothing sharp this these edges at the top of this yeah they're you know they're not as rounded as they could be you know of course this is not like a bead blasted or stone washed you know finish okay so this is a satin finish so you know if it was stone washed or bead blast or whatever it would have you know it would tumbled these would be more rounded these are not as rounded but they're not so sharp they're going to cut you and it's the top of the blade other places on this are really nice and i don't know what you would call this finish uh i call it kind of a bead blasted finish it's real smooth it's really nice it, it's nice it's there's um, no jumping on the flipper tab no jimping here you know I tried to look this up I put this on YouTube I mean I put a search on YouTube for the Tucson model 21 TS 21 nothing not one review on it so here it goes you know right 
but it's a D2 blade. If you look on DH Gate and you look at this seller, or there's a couple maybe, but there's one main guy that's really selling the crap out of them. Maybe the same guy that's doing the auctions on eBay. In any case, some of his knives will have a 8CR13 MOV blade and some of them D2. So you might want to look specifically. I do. I If I can get the D2 option, I'll do it. Okay. Eight inches overall, three and a half inch blade. Pretty sharp, pretty sharp. I don't know if it's hair popping sharp, but it's it's pretty sharp. And I don't know if I, you know, I don't know if this will. Yeah, I mean that that's pretty sharp. That's pretty sharp. Okay, so it's got a good working edge, and if I can cut paper with it, then any primate can cut paper with it because I am horrible at it. Oh my God. But you know what? Just bear with me a minute. Okay. Check that out. I mean, really, it's an easy one-handed frame lock titanium knife with a good D2 sharp blade. Um, You know, at first, see, it would flip out really good when I took it out of the package. But then when I was... I couldn't really shake it down because it was a little gritty. Now, if you look, the detent's good, uh, and it holds it. I mean, maybe. Hell, I can't even do it that way, and usually, if it'll do it, it'll do it like that. Okay, so that's it's good, you know, which means it stores a lot of kinetic energy, so when it goes, it goes, and it goes. I mean, it really flips. So really, I mean, this is really a nice knife. If you don't want to carry something like that, because you might think this is a little bit big, and I think maybe this is longer than a three and a half inch blade. Um, no, it's pretty much a three and a half inch blade. So it's, but it's a, this is a bigger knife, you know? And this is more discreet, but it's still packing some blade, right? You know, I think the handle's shorter. But I think the blade length's the same. So, you know, you're packing a lot of blade in this small handle, and it's fairly slender. And let's get this out of the way. You know, I like it. I, I got it because I like the design. I know there's other two sun models out there, and I've got some on order, but the Tonto or Tanto, whatever you want to call it, that I reviewed, and you can look at that review. And this, I really like. And there's two others that are coming in that I like. One's kind of a Umnumsman, uh, Umnumsen, uh, Chris Reeve type of uh, uh, influence. And it's not a flipper. Uh, and then there's another one that's a flipper and it's got a different style to it. But it's one that I thought was attractive. In any case, this is really kind of, you know, it's angular. And I like that angular look. You know, you got nice shiny hardware on here, and you got so you got some different finishes here because you've got kind of this bead here, bead blast, or just kind of a very understated finish. And then you got this, you know, this real satiny, like it just got milled off, you know, pocket clip thing. And then you got the shiny hardware, which is real easy and accessible to be able to be taken taken down and cleaned and whatever. And those bearings are good. Now they're saying they're ceramic uh, bearings and I guess they probably are, which is nice. I mean, for a knife that's 49 bucks, and I mean, I paid 49. I'll tell you what, if you try to grab one off the eBay auction, you may be able to get it for less than that. And if you can get this thing for like 40 bucks or less, that's good. That's good. I mean, I don't know how you feel about this knife. I think it's really a nice one. I like this one. I might almost like this one better than the Tonto. You know? I love that angular. It's really a great blade design. It's good for a lot of things. Piercing, slicing, whatever. And it's obviously sharp. Frame lock. Good detent. 
I mean, uh, it's chamfered here, around here. It's really uh, no sharp edges. And it's perfect size for pocket carry. Okay, let's quick get to this uh, issue. We gotta, we gotta figure out how much it weighs. Cause I don't work in grams, I work in ounces. So let's do this. 4.1, so that's really nice. I mean, for a full tie, 4.1. Oh, let's try this G10 San Ren Mu, same length of blade. 5.5, okay? 1.5 ounces lighter, even though it's full tie. Of course, this has got big old stainless steel liners that haven't been milled out or anything in the G10, and it's just a, it's more of a, a it's pretty close in size. It's just, it's wider this way, which is, you know, interesting to think about. Because you got about one and what, one and a quarter inches? Let's take a look at this one at the biggest. You're almost at one and a half. You're sixteenth shy of one and a half. So, you know, that's what, a half inch? Yeah. It's a bigger, wider knife. This one is really light in the hand. Not too light, it feels substantial for what it is. For what it is. Cause I, I don't know if I like them too, too light, just like crazy light, like just carbon fiber and some little thin, little two millimeter thick stock blade, you know. I, I you know, not necessarily, but this feels good for what it is. It feels like it's got some heft to it for the size that it is. And wow, how handy, because you get a lot of blade for that handle, right? Eight inch overall, but you got a three and a half blade in there and it takes it right to the end, right to the end. I don't know if you could, nah, thank God. I can't touch the edge. Lanyard hole, it's really nice. Nice little tie slabs in there. Everything's slick. Okay, so, but when you get yours, if you get one, okay. Wow, Greaseville. I mean to tell you, okay, I got to do this. Oh, of course, here's what I use to open my stuff with. My San Ren Mu, because this is like a box cutter. And I don't want to get my fingers in the way of my box cutter. Because it would not be a good thing. Okay. So we pop the embryotic sack because believe me, here it comes. I mean, it is. <sighs> Look at that. Look at that. Is that covered? I mean, that is just covered with oil. <sighs> I mean, it is absolutely freaking covered with oil. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to wipe it down and I'm going to show you it's action right out of the box. This way you get the experience of, man, it's like it takes a bath towel or a beach towel. My wife's going to kick my ass for using one of her <laughs> to wipe all this grease off. Don't tell her. Okay, so I wasn't going to use my microfiber towel for that. That's for sure. Okay, so we've got her wiped down. Let's check it out. Oh, God. And that is, look at that. I mean, that is greasy. Okay, let's do this. Let's get that off there, too. Man, that's... Whew. It's a wild, wild west, baby. Came right out. Okay, there you go. So that's the way it comes right out of the package. You hear that? I mean, it's, it's, it's like you got bearing grease or something in there, and it may be a fairly thick type grease in there. See how that goes? That's different. That, can you tell the difference? Actually, this one don't need to be taken apart. There's no gritty, well, crap. I'll probably be lying to myself here in a minute. Mm, you know, this is not bad. This, I don't think, 
I might blast some uh, some solvent slash lubricant in there a little bit just to for jollies, but nah, it feels pretty good actually. This one, this one's not bad. Okay, so that's how they come out. This one, if you'll notice, you can really hear that click. This one, it's getting better. You know, and right out of the box, they are, you know, they're a little bit, mm, they need to be worked. They need to be flipped. They need to be, you know, loosened up a little bit. So this one, yeah, it's good. And you know, let's check. Blade play? Nope. No blade play there. Okay. None up and down. No lock rock. Right? They're a good looking knife. Now that I got this one wiped up for you. Yeah. This one's not bad. This one's better out of the box than that one that I that I took apart. This one's, uh, yeah, not a problem. Okay. That'll work. You know, I, I can still feel. Nah. Nah. Yeah, it, nah, it's going to have to be taken apart. I, I just, see, see how that's, that's, see, now watch this one. See, that's, that's just different. That's just different. I know I'm getting a little obsessive, but. See, I mean, it's a little, it's a little, it, there's a little bit of just, and you can feel it, but you can't see it, but it's, the detents there and everything, there's just a little bit of like, just a slight bit of gritty feel. And I know I'm just a, too off the chart, but this one, when you clean it up, I mean, you get a real snap sound um, and it lays back in like that. This one now, I mean, and it's not no big deal to take it apart and clean it up. But see, that's just taking a lot more force to do that. It's just not See, that's that's just different. It's different. I can tell. Okay. Well, in any case, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. It's Tucson, the TS21 model, and uh I really like it. I, I, I like it a whole lot better once I cleaned it up. I'll tell you that right now. That is that is some slick little kit right now. And so it's, that's all you got to do is just unscrew it, pull it apart, uh, clean it up, and put it back together. That's not that big a deal. I mean, it's got good you know ceramic bearings. It's got the insert. It's got the tie. It's got a sharp blade. I mean, everything is there to make it a great knife. It'd be nice if it was a little bit more QC. If you know what I mean, quality control, getting it out. If they would really just make sure they wipe it really good, down really good with those ceramic bearings and stuff. But if that's all you have to do to make a $49 knife at the at the high end, and if you could grab one a little cheaper, that's so much better. But wow. Uh, and you know, I, I did back this off a little bit because I got it so tight I knew it was gonna interfere with the bearings a little bit and so I go to that point and I back it off to where at least you just don't have the blade play side to side here but it's then it's backed off enough to where you got clearance and this could back out I mean this could work its way to get looser if that happens over a period of time yeah you can always uh, put a little bit of Loctite some kind of medium Loctite on there put it back in let it sit 30 minutes or an hour you know but you you when you tighten that back up after you put Loctite in there you want to make sure you have backed it up to just the right action and then let it sit and then you're okay I don't think it'll back out on you anymore it's nice I really like the design of it it's a little angular kind of like a shark something I don't know but I like it and here we go, 30 minute damn review. There was a guy that made, <laughs> made a comment that says, how do you do that? How do you get like 700 people to watch a 30 minute review? I think that was the Hogue X5, the blue one. And that was like 35, 36 minute review. Sorry, it takes a while. Uh, I've got a lot of points to, to make 
And you know what? There's not another review on YouTube on this knife. So this kind of gives you the whole deal. <clears throat> how it comes out of the box, how you can clean it up, make it yours, and make it really nice. Really nice. It really... And, it, and it's and it got detent there. I mean, you can miss it if you want. It, it's not just going to fall out. You got to give it some... Uh, some stroke but it's really nice really smooth just just feels so good and it's a really easy one-handed action so i'm going to clean this one up and i hope you guys enjoyed this review it's a really cool knife i got some other knives in today so i'm going to do another review or two today i'll check you later i hope you uh have a good day thanks